Hello, it's Mark Matosh, here from Markham 3D, and today we're going to be continuing on our journey of creating a VR game. So, this is what we're looking at at the moment, our engine. And if we come over to Unreal Engine, we can see what we've got in our level. Now we've got the ability to pick up these pieces and put them in the slots, which is exactly what we wanted. So... Where do we go to from here? So we need some more puzzles to be working on. Some, yeah. Um, I do have this draw. I do like the option to have a draw coming out, but I do want kind of maybe, maybe like a compartment in here where the door needs to open. That's, I think, I think that'd be good. Um, What else? What else? What else could we do? Okay. Let's go. Yeah, let's go in this spot here and let's create that door. All right, shift A, let's add in a Le Cube and put that here. So GZ. Now, collision boxes. I hate collision boxes, especially because we need to interact with our box, um, we need to put something in there. And if our physics is turned on, just stuff goes haywire. However, I saw this somewhere else. So rather than actually making the box, you know, hey, this is our box. Let's select this face, inset, and in, ugh, E to extrude. So rather than having a box like this, what they did is they selected all this, scale Z, and they actually just built the box themselves. So we don't, we can just use auto collisions. Oh, it, it just seems to make sense. Um, I mean, you can do it. I think the naming convention in front of the model needs to be or at the end, it needs to be something like UX or UCX underscore blah. But if we can avoid it, let's avoid it. All right. So let's create this box scale and on the X axis, GZ, gonna bring that in. So it's poking out a little bit too much. Let's bring that in um, just in case somebody wants to see. So we'll turn them on. Okay, from here, let's select this, shift D, Z, scale on Z, Y. Let's come over here, scale on the Y, scale on the, the Z. All right, shift D, Y. Cool. Now that we can move this one back. Now those blue lines, they're representing the normals of the model. Um, and we normally, well, we always want them to be facing outwards normally. And I'm just gonna move that all the way back. Let's grab this face. Shift D, I mean, control, control L to select all. Shift D to duplicate, right click, rotate X, sorry, Y 90 degrees. And we will put that about here. Size Z, size Y, let's bring that in. GZ, scale. There we go. So there's our box. So now when we import it into Unreal Engine, I'm going to import this as five different models. So obviously side, side, top, bottom, back. Pretty bland at the moment. So we can spruce it up a little bit. Let's go, let's select these two outer faces, scale X, scale Y, sorry. And from here, I'm going to Put in an edge loop here, control B. Let's do just a small little inset. 
there we go. What I'm going to do, let's just work on the one side and then we'll just duplicate it. I think that might be a little bit smarter. Um, scale Z, let's bring this all the way up and control B, let's bevel that in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's just do some creative freedomness and select where's this bottom area that's here let's bring that back up G Z um, let's select this line here control B no I don't want all the way around come on computer you can do it and B, middle mouse button to deselect, control B, just to add in a bevel in there. How are we looking now? That seems quite nice. Let's bring control L, G, Z, G, Z, we'll bring it up a little bit. Nice. Um, Let's put a pattern up the top, control B to do a bevel. Um, let's put a few edge loops in. Actually, let's put one edge loop here, control B. And then what I'll do is I'll go into edge mode, select these two, oops. Shift right click, scale on the Y, and then alt right click, control B, Extrude, Alt S. Mm, actually, let's do it the other way. Undo that, Control B to bevel, middle mouse wheel up to make another cut, Control minus on the numpad, Alt S to scale, and kind of do that cut. That looks better. Just a little bit of extra detail. I do like this overhang section so when we put the door in you actually got to reach in and kind of um, not reach in but you got to reach under that lip and pull it I want to pull it down because if you pull it up that means the door is in the way of your face and that means you actually got to really get down I mean you know it's a VR experience you can get down but I would say we'll pull it down so it'll rotate along this section here. Mm. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I say we put some bolts in here. So I'm going to use. Or oh, do I want to use kit ops? I think it might be be too much. So let's go into preferences unless I've already got it added let's go shift a mesh extras no I thought there was like a bolts thing factory bolts did I just see that split second at the end no 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 extras beam builder ah I swear there's a bolts add-on for free. So I'm just going to check my preferences for bolt. Bolt factory, there it is. I should probably do a review on bolt factory as well. Shift A, mesh, Z bolt. Okay. And it is not letting me change any of the settings. So it doesn't look like this is working properly. And that is way too high poly for me, so especially for what I'm doing here. Shift A, circle, oh my goodness, why Blender? So for some reason, Blender's having a hissy fit again. It's not letting me, once I add in a circle, maybe let's try in edit mode. Shift A, circle, now that works. That's annoying, very frustrating. Um, Let's go six. Let's make Allen keys. Control LP, separate by selection. 
Let's come here. All right. Select all. Make this a little bit. Actually, no. GZ, because this is our bolt. Okay. Press numpad 5 to go into orthographic. Select these two and face there. E to extrude. GZ. Now, can I subdivide this? I believe it will. Well, that's going to be yuck. It won't. I think what's the best way? Maybe, maybe I'll do circle and let's just go 6, 12, 18. Control L, delete vertices and we'll go the other way. GZ scale and what we'll do is we'll merge three alt m center alt m center alt m center 6 12 18 yeah go ahead, that's right alt m center so now i've got my hex and then from here let's select this come on where are you face face okay good scale okay beautiful okay let's now dump this on the side gee okay numpad five now if i go into object mode actually so let's now transfer um the origin to this surface here so i'm going to do shift s cursor to selected so now it's on this face i can now go into tab into object mode object mode i can set origin to 3d cursor beautiful let's go smooth and we'll come over here into object data auto smooth beautiful now what i can do is i can go g hold control and it's snapping there that's not what i want is that what i want why is it snapping to the 3d cursor oh my goodness i hate you Sometimes it's a love-hate relationship with Blender. Hmm. Okay. Okay. GX. GZ. All right. There we go. All right. So, very quick stream tonight because the children have woken up. Um, but so far we've created the box, we've created bolts on the side. I will join these all together and control J. And what I'll do is I'll separate this wall, duplicate it and done. So there we go. Just a quick tips on a few modeling like that. Um, yeah, make sure you like and subscribe, keep up to date with everything. Um, thank you very much coming for this very short, um, um, stream. Thank you.